Hey guys, what is up? It is Zeros35 here, and today I'm going to do an Araxor guide. araxor has been out for about four and a half hours, so keep that in mind when you're watching this guide. It is the best option that I've found personally for me. Uh, it might not be the meta or the best option in a week, a month, or even a year from now. Um, so far, I've racked up about 100 kills, and I've gotten a couple Venom sacks, a couple teleports. I actually got the Fang at 11kc, so that was super lucky. Uh, it sold for about 250 mil. I don't expect the amulet to stay at 250 mil. I think it's already down to 150 at the time of recording. And I also got a piece of the Halberd. Uh, only one piece, though. Managed to get that on, like, 5 KC. So, first 30 KC or so was really spooned. Uh, other drops you have is the pet. Uh, I'm going to assume it's a base rate of 1 in 3,000, as most Slayer bosses are. However, there's a mechanic that lets you get a better chance at it, but we don't know the exact drop rates. There's the three pieces for the Hellbird, the Teleport, the Venom Sack, the Head for the Slayer Helm, and the Jar of Venom for your house, which is untradeable. It's the first untradeable jar. And then the Coagulated Venom, which you get if you get a kill underneath a minute and ten seconds is what people seem to be, uh, seem to be thinking. I think I got a minute five PB, and that's what I got on it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gear. You can do uh, Inquisitor's Mace, a Bludgeon. You basically want to do your best Crush. If you don't have your best Crush, you can also do your best Slash. I was doing Torvo with a Scythe earlier, and it was hitting pretty well. Uh, maybe like a 10 seconds difference in kill speed. Uh, you're going to want your Super Combats, your Anti-Venom Plus, or Extended Anti-Venom if you use the Venom Sacks from the boss to make those. A couple Super Stores or Prayer Pots. I have my Pre-Pots here. Anglerfish. An Elder Maul and Inquisitor's Mace, another big uh, crush weapon. Dragon Claws and or Burning Claws, Void Waker also works. But currently, it seems like this boss doesn't have very high defense, so I don't think Void Waker's worth it, so I would say Dragon Claws. And then your Rune Pouch for Venge and a Teleport out. Uh, you might be wondering what this item is. This is a Hollowed Crystal Shard, so I'm going to go ahead and break one. And actually, this brings you to the Hollowed Sepulchre, where if you've done Hollowed Sepulchre before, you can get these Hollowed Marks. You can then trade this Mysterious Stranger to buy these, one mark for one shard. And this is where, at first, you're going to want to be banking until you can get some Teleport Shards. So the Hollowed Sepulchre is right here, and you're going to use the long rope wall jump here to then run to the Mauritania spider nest to get to the boss. Once you get the spider's teleport, it'll just put you right in front of this cave. And in order to get the long rope from here, you need to buy two of them from this general store in Darkmire. Uh, each rope is 52k a piece. You'll need two of them to attach to this wall. If you don't have Darkmire unlocked, you could run from the Theater of Blood Bank all the way here. Or... That go. Or you can use the Fairy Ring ALQ and run there as well. It's just going to take more time. Uh, as for inventory, Slayer Helm, Blood Fury, or Torture, or Regular Fury. Um, Blood Fury charges kind of get used up pretty quickly. Infernal or Fire Cape, whichever one you have, it doesn't matter. Your qu Crush and or Slash Weapon. If you're using Crush, try to have Inquisitors. If not, use Bandos. Altar Ring or Berserker Ring, Prims, Ferocious Gloves. And I'm actually going to switch out the Rada's Blessing for a Lucky Penny to try to save on charges, but either or is fine. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drink our pre-pots here. And we're going to run out this way. And right here is the wall jump, or wall climb. Then you're just going to run north to this cave. As soon as you enter this cave, there are a bunch of small Araxites that are going to attack you. 
uh, they pretty much instantly venom you, so make sure you have your venom pot. Also worth noting, you do have to have this as a task. Uh, you cannot use spiders. Has to be a Raxite, so you cannot use spiders, and you need 92 Slayer to get that as a Slayer task. I don't believe you can boost either, so it has to be 92. And once you run in, there's the smaller ones that you can kill for a couple different small drops. Um, you can kill them for your Slayer task. And what I like to do is, as soon as the fight starts, drink my antidote. I have this tile marked here for when a Raxer spawns, and I have my scythe on Crush. Put protect from melee on and piety. And if you want to, you can kill these eggs separately to, bef during the fight to uh, not have to deal with these guys, but it is slower. So we're going to start off with the white spider, where we're going to venge and then elder maul him. And then he, it just one-shots him. Uh, Araxor has a couple different special attacks. That first one was just a Venom Splash. So the White Spiders, if you attack them, they assume they basically have permanent Venge damage. Whatever you hit them for, they will hit you back. The Red Spiders, so we're going to stand here. And the Red Spiders are like the Nilos in Theater of Blood, where when they get close to you, they explode. So we're going to drag him to the corner, and if you explode them under a Raxor, it does 80 damage to the boss. So that really helps speed up your time. Again, you can attach, you can attack each of these eggs, which will make the kill slower, but then you don't have to deal with these. The green spiders will range you, but they don't do that much damage. However, if you want to take care of them, you can just run over with your Crush Weapon, Inquisitor's Maze, Elder Maul, whatever you're using, and just one-shot them, but they will explode with Venom Pools, so be careful. So to start off, we're about to get into an Enraged Phase. I'm going to show the simple version. We have another White Spider. So, Enraged Phase, as you can see, Araxor is mailing in a line of three Venom Pools. All you're going to do is hit, step back. Hit, step back. And you do this all the way until the boss is dead. If you get another red spider, try to get it near you, but don't let it blow up on you. So see, there's another 77, and the boss is dead. If you're not in melee distance, the boss will start to mage you. Here, you can harvest the loot or destroy, and we believe that destroy gives a better chance of the pet, but obviously no loot. So I'm just going to harvest two rune kite shields, and then I'm going to go back to my tile, get my prayers on, and be ready to start again. So we have three of each color egg. I would not recommend going to kill them, but if you feel more comfortable to start, uh, killing the white eggs is definitely the best option. Void Waker works really well on the white eggs. So now any damage we do to the boss will be done back to us and this spider. So we want to venge, hit it, and there you go. It's taken care of. We're doing the Venom throwing special attack again. Araxor has three special attacks, and depending on which Araxite spawns first will be the special he's done. So we've had two kills now where the silver one has been the first one to spawn, and therefore the Venom Pools being thrown out is the special attack that it chooses. So I like to just sit here... Keep a or in the same spot. It's pretty chill. Make sure your pots are up. So now that his legs have turned green, we're in enraged phase. I like to save claw specs for here. If you get hit by it, as you saw there, it's only like 17 damage, so it's not the end of the world, but definitely try to avoid it for more kills per trip. There we go. Got 15 bark. Um, okay. Boss has a couple elk drops. Uh, has supplies, elk, seeds, normal Slayer boss loot. Secondaries for potions. I'm, I think bark is for swamp bark, but other than that, I don't think it has really much of a use. So let me see if we can get a different special attack here. So now we have the red crab spawning first. 
So when the red crab spawns, all you want to do is move diagonal to this tile to lure it around here. As soon as it's close by, we're going to run. Okay, so this is the Ulm Poison special attack. It'll last for six tiles, as long as you're walking, and then it'll wear off. While you're learning, I would highly recommend just killing these uh, green ones to start off. That way, so they don't steal your venge off of when you're trying to venge the silver uh, spiders. So we don't want to get far from Araxar because then they're going to start to uh mage we're gonna wait till the raxer hits us so it doesn't break our venge venge up and then just hit the silver one if you do it correctly you won't take any damage if your venge gets broken however you will take 28 damage of reflect so make sure you at least have more than 28 because if you mess up you will uh, end up killing yourself from that That red spider should just kill it off. There we go. Death runes. I'm going to do one more kill here just to see if I can get the third special attack. If not, I'll just kind of describe it. <laughs> Venom wore out, so make sure you're always using your uh, anti venom plus or your extended anti venom plus. So this should be, because we got the green one spawning now, this should be the special attack that we were looking for. So the last special attack is he'll shoot out the Venom Ball, and it just goes in a diagonal or a straight line wherever he shoots it out at. Get rid of this green one here. Always be mindful that the green one will explode. Raxor just hit me, so I should be able to get this off in time. Raxor really doesn't hit too much through prayer, so feel free to just take your time to make sure you get that right, rather than smacking yourself for a 28. Uh, I've noticed that the special attacks for a Raxor will happen a, a few attacks after the um, Raxites have spawned. So once this Araxite dies, I think we'll see the nose spec. Yep. And for the, uh, you can either do the step back method, or you can keep going over. This one is a bit more complicated, but you just keep going around. Keeping in mind that whichever one you're standing on is going to be the center tile. Now we have an issue where we have to venge, try to hit, but the uh, silver one or venge got broken, so we hit ourselves for a 28. I'm being a little greeny here and not eating. So sometimes you can get a little complicated during that last phase if a silver Araxite spawns, but overall still very doable. Uh, boss so far has been pretty enjoyable. Uh, it makes it more enjoyable, obviously, when you get Spoon to drop, but other than that, not too bad. Very clean kills. And I think I'm going to end the video on that. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. And good luck on all your drops.